When I finished designing and making the minimal wood stool and side table, which you can check out here on my channel, I wanted to explore the idea of making other home decor using my Glowforge laser cutter. Today, we'll be designing and making a wood end table out of mahogany plywood. Let's get started. For our materials and tools, we'll be using quarter inch mahogany plywood, wood glue, a rubber dead blow hammer, and a Glowforge laser cutter. If you're interested in purchasing a Glowforge for yourself, scroll down to the description section of this video where I'll share a link that'll get you up to $500 off of a Glowforge Pro. To design this project, I sketched out some ideas by hand so that I could figure out the proportions of the end table. Then, I used a software called Rhinoceros and started off by drawing the dimensions of the frame, which I noted in my sketch. It'll be roughly seven inches square by 18 inches tall. After that, I started drawing the rectilinear shapes that would be cut out of the frame to create a contemporary aesthetic. I based the entire design off of my original hand sketch and worked on the proportions and dimensions as I developed the design. When the frames were complete, I moved on to designing the interior shelves and structural support panels. There will be two interior shelves in this project. One will be at the base of the end table and the other will be at the center. The structural support panels will hold the decorative side panels together. All of these components come together using finger joints and slots, which you can see me designing. This takes a lot of thought because each joint and slot needs to consider the thickness of the quarter inch plywood. Quarter inch plywood typically isn't 0.25 inches thick, it's a little bit thinner. When the two-dimensional design was complete, I extruded each component to match the thickness of the mahogany plywood. This is a very important step in my design process because it's the last time that I get to confirm that all of my components, finger joints, and slots were designed correctly. After extruding all of the shapes, I rotate them and begin constructing the project as I would in real life. I slot the pieces together one by one and assemble the end table from start to finish. As I do this, I keep an eye out for areas where the dimension of a component might be slightly off, and I work back to figure out what needs to be fixed. I refine the design through this 3D modeling process until I'm satisfied with the outcome. Now that the components for this contemporary end table are designed, we're ready to start laser cutting this project. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to see more projects like this one. Starting the process of laser cutting, I usually start by applying paper masking on both sides of my mahogany plywood 
to protect it from any scorching and burning from the laser. Then, I place the material into my Glowforge laser cutter and start the process of cutting every component. Now that the pieces are cut, I remove the paper masking to reveal the beautiful wood finish. Then, I assemble the shelves and support pieces by inserting the finger joints of the shelves through the slots and gluing them into place. When the shelf and support assemblies are complete, I apply wood glue along one edge and I glue these components onto one of the larger decorative side panels. I repeat this process for the other shelf. Then, I apply wood glue to the opposite ends of both shelf assemblies and supports, align the slots of the opposite decorative side panel, and glue them together. Lastly, I apply wood glue to the top finger joints of the frame Turn it upside down, align it with the tabletop, and glue them together to finish the contemporary end table. With the assembly complete, I apply Odie's oil to the surfaces of the plywood to give it a beautiful and natural finish. Now, the project is complete and the table is ready for use. So that's how I design and make this contemporary wood end table with a laser cutter. This was a fun project to work on and it gave me a lot of ideas for other small table designs that I'll make in the future. Let me know what you think about this project in the comment section below and remember to subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you next week.